Hey guys, this is TechManster, and today I'm going to show you how to do a simple, basic um, intro. So you'll see your your uh, your name come back in like a like a wave, something like that. So uh, let's get started, and uh, I hope that you like this. So the first thing we're going to do is go on top and put a new composition, also Control N and comp one name of that and press okay okay so we're gonna make a new solid so you go to layer sorry layer new layer new so this is getting mad okay layer new solid control y also and just make it yeah black is okay and press okay and let's name this Let's see, what should we name this? Let's name this background. Because it is a background. So to do that, press enter. So it's just the PG. Okay. And then we're also we're going to do this. So we're going to click it. Effects. Generate. Ramp. And they should pop up. As you can see, it changed. And then we're going to click the end color. And we're just going to make it like a dark red. Right there, it so looks like a flame, and just fix this up a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna add a tile. So let's go add the text file over here in the middle. Just write the te uh, write anything you want. So for me, it's a tech mentor. Okay, and as you can see, mine went out of screen. So to fix this, go into the top left hand corner and just click at the mouse. And then, as you can see, two, four, three boxes um, form up. So just click the name and just place it in the middle. And there you go. There's the middle. So what you want to do now is make sure this title to come in and just stay there. So what you want to do is go to the title over here. To the left, you see like a little play button or an arrow. Just click it. And then what we want to do is animate it to go in. So you can go animate. And click scale, and now we're gonna add. Now we're gonna add to the animate. So we're gonna go add property, and let's go add uh, opacity, and also let's go and add a blur too. So as you can see in the bottom, you have scale, opacity, and blur. Okay, so in the scale, let's go and make it about 300. That's good enough. And as you can see, it's one pretty big. It's like squished together. That's alright. It's normal. So an opacity, let's make it at uh, 10%. That's good. And then a blur, let's make it at 100%. And to also to do that, just click on the numbers. So it will go like that. So you don't have to worry about that. And then let's go to range sector. And then you see the offset. Let's see it animate in and then out. So as you can see, it animates in. And then it's going to animate off again. Remember computer froze, so let's wait for a little bit. Me, okay. So see, when I meant in and out. There we go. So what you want to do is keyframe this, and basically keyframing is setting points to basically setting points to another position. So to do that. See the offset? A little to the left, you see the little stopwatch. So click it. And make sure it's all the way back. And let's type negative 100. Oops, sorry. No, actually, positive 100, sorry. And then let's go forward about 25 frames. Not about 35, somewhere around there. And let's put negative 100. So as you can see, the keyframes were set over here and over here. So let's just watch it. So you press the spacebar. You'll see you'll see it animate out, and then animate in. Okay. So let's do that again. So smoother. There we go. So what we want to do is to take off this part of it, animate to animate out, and we just want to keep that animate in. So to do that is go to more options. And then we're gonna do the 
the archer point grouping into a line. Okay. Okay, and then we go to advance. And then we're going to put the square ramp down. Or the shape, sorry. And then put a ramp down. And as you can see right here, as we go back and forth, it will animate in. And that's it. It won't go animate out again. That's the cool part. So, once we complete that, let's go add some, some, some final touches here. So, put it back. I should put opacity back to zero. And then, let's go make this a little bit more better. So, right click it here on the on the keyframe. Right click. Go to key assistant. Oh, sorry. Key assistant. And click easy is easy e. Sorry. And I see it comes like a little, like a little time. I don't know what it was called. You can also do click it and you can also do F9. And that will do that. And if you guys, if you mess, if you mess up, just press Control Z, and it'll do, it'll, and then it will undo whatever you did. Okay. Okay, guys. I'll do this fast because I have a ten minute, ten minute limit. Okay. So as you can see, it goes in, and then there we go. It goes out. Or I mean, it goes, it goes in. So that's done. So basically, there we go. We're done. You can add some more touches, like a lightning. Let's just add an obstacle. Sorry, not obstacle. Uh, optical. So I'll go to generate. Uh, let's see, lens flare. That's good. Actually, oops, sorry. Don't do it on the tag, man. Do it on the BG. Sorry. Go to effect lens flare. Okay, there we go. So let's do let's right click in the middle so this moves. Alright, so let's move out of the screen for a little bit. And also click here. Um, okay, so basically it's a simple task. Just move this out, all right? So what do you want to do right now with this lens flare? You're just gonna animate it again. So let's go to the center. Click the lens for the click the timer for the lens flare. And then what you want to do is get it, hold shift, and then just move it so it won't go up and down. And then let's do this. I should just do this over here. And for this. Okay, now hold shift. Okay, so let's animate it going forward. So let's click lens flare. Animate. Okay, offset. And then let's just move it about four, about around there. Yeah, around there. And then hold shift. Click it. And it goes forward. All the way out of here, all the frames. So let's look at it. Complete product. Or so. Let's slow time a little bit more. So you go over here. Effects. And flare. And then just move it a little bit more. So around there. Alright, that's good enough. So congratulations guys, you just made a basic intro. As you can see the final product. Thank you for watching this, subscribe and I'll